Wagwan, beautiful people. I'm about to show you guys how I made over $500,000, as you can see right here, in just one year by selling digital products online. I'm going to run you through what product I sell, how I sell it, how I get traffic, and how you guys can do the exact same thing. So lock in, listen up, take notes, fucking learn, because this is about to be full of value and if you can implement the things I teach you here today then you're going to be able to also make a shitload of money at a young age by selling digital products online. Obviously when it comes to selling a digital product the very first step is always finding your product actually understanding what you are going to be selling. There's a few very important things initially when you are coming to think of your digital product. Value is created when pain is alleviated and pain is alleviated when problems are solved. So the first questions that you guys should ask yourself when it comes to finding your digital product are going to be, what burning problem do you have the ability to solve? For me, after I got knowledgeable and I was in the space for a while, my biggest problem that I knew how to solve was being broke because I was broke and I learned the skills and the things I needed to know to actually make money. So what burning problem can you solve? What problems can you fix for yourself? Uh, the problem that I fixed for myself was obviously my financial situation and I was able to create some wealth for myself. So that's why I am personally in the wealth niche. But if you used to be a fat motherfucker and you lost all the weight, you can maybe be a fitness coach. You can sell a digital product around fitness. If you used to have a really, really bad relationship and you, fi you, you fix that, then you can obviously do a digital product around having a healthy relationship or relationship coaching, something like that. Um, now, what comes easy to you? Something that's you find quite easy and quite interesting and you're quite passionate about that other people might actually struggle with. These are different unique uh, angles that you can get when you're coming to your digital product. Think about your past self. For me, in pretty much all the content I make and pretty much what I do with my digital product is I think about what I needed before I had gotten started, if that makes sense. And as I did that, I... Uh, I was able to target the exact audience I wanted to speak to. So I was working on a construction job and I basically learned the high income skills I needed to get out of that job. So how can I help that version of myself? I can teach him the skills that he needs to get into the situation that I am in right now. And that would be obviously educating him through the digital product that I have. And it's obviously important to ask yourself as well, what are you good at? Uh, what are your skill sets? And if you don't have any that's a problem in itself, right? So then you would almost be better off investing in a digital product yourself, getting skills, getting knowledge, getting expertise around certain things and using that. But if you're really good at anything, you can pretty much make it a digital product. If you're a really good chef, you can make that a digital product. If you're really good at fitness, you can make that a digital product. If you're really good at golf, you can make that a digital product. It really doesn't matter, guys. So... Also, ask yourself and look at what you've accomplished in the past three years. Obviously, I've accomplished a lot in the past three years, so I have a lot of ammunition when it comes to creating a digital product. Uh, I don't know if you guys are the same, but if you've undergone a transformation already, there's a very high percentage that you could use that transformation you've gone to to help other people go through the same thing. And you probably have the knowledge and the experience and the expertise on how to make that happen, if that makes sense, my friend. And that's what brings me to your target audience. So for me, I basically make my target audience the old version of myself. Um, like I said, you are the niche. Uh, you're the one who decides what digital product you're going to sell. And you want to base it around something that you have a personal experience with if you can. Now, a quick disclaimer is do not make it a get rich quick or do not become a guru or do not start selling something that you have no expertise in because you will most likely eat shit, my friend. If you have not made money or made an impact or changed your life in any way, do not try to sell someone on that because one, you're not going to get good results and two, it's coming from a place of inauthenticity. Teach something you're good at. You cannot teach someone how to make money online if you have not made any money online yourself. Don't scam people. Don't be a guru. Don't be someone who's just talking about things they have no idea about in order to just get sales. We're in the business of transformation. We want to help people undergo transformations by giving them the knowledge, the information, and the expertise that they need in order to make that transformation. We're here to change people's lives, to make a genuine positive impact on the world. And you're not going to do that if you don't actually have the experience or the knowledge yourself. Now, like I said before, creating a course isn't always around just one thing. It's not just about making money. There's courses on golf, chess, cooking, uh, literally anything, making bread, 
everything has basically a digital product for it in some way, shape or form. There is obviously low ticket products and high ticket products. Uh, low ticket products could be things like cheap courses, uh, LUT packs, eBooks. People sell a lot of stuff on Etsy. There's a lot of different ways you can go about selling low ticket products. When it comes to high ticket digital products, these are always things like coaching, consulting, mentorships, uh, courses and, and things like that, normally over $2,000. Now, I personally only have ever sold high ticket products. This is because before I was even uh, someone who was selling a digital product, I was literally selling a digital product, but for other people, I was a sales rep on the calls who was actually closing the deals and making this stuff happen. So I've always been in the high ticket industry and I could not imagine going down to the low ticket industry specifically for the fact that if you do do that, you would be in a situation where you have to now sell a thousand units or more to get to 10K a month rather than selling one or two units. So it's far easier to sell something once than it is to sell something a thousand, ten thousand times, if that makes sense. So what I sell is an academy and a mentorship, which is basically teaching people how to do all these things and teaching people the fundamental business skills that you need in order to have a successful business and a successful career. So that's skills like sales, marketing, content creation, lead generation, all these different things that actually fundamentally create a business are things that we focus on teaching. You can take this down the high ticket sales route like I did initially and you can become a high ticket sales rep or you can be someone who actually sells your own digital product, things like this. And the reason I sell that is because it's literally what I have expertise in. It's literally what got me to where I am today. And I wouldn't sell anything that I don't have expertise in. So I pretty much just educate people on how to make money the same way I did because it's exactly what I know how to do. Once you've done that and once you've actually selected a product, whether it be a high ticket product, a low ticket product, it doesn't really matter. Like I said, I would recommend a high ticket product. Once you've done that, the obviously, the obviously, obviously the next step is to generate traffic and drive eyeballs onto this product. This is how you're going to do that. You're going to want to build a personal brand and an audience uh, because people buy from people. So there's only really two ways to go about this, organic and paid. Organic traffic is free. Uh, paid traffic is obviously exponentially more expensive. Organic traffic is stronger. You're getting people who actually come to you because they fuck with you and they like what you're doing. So this is why I recommend building a personal brand because it's organic traffic, it's free traffic, and it's very, very reputable. It builds you into someone with authority status and you're going to build a one-on-one -on -one relationship with each person in your audience, which means they're far more likely to buy from you. The thing with paid traffic is it's capped if you're not getting a strong ROI. And me personally, I've only tried paid traffic once and uh, I found that I actually convert at a higher rate and actually close more deals when I'm doing organic stuff. So as I said earlier, when you come, when it comes to actually creating content, you basically want to target your target avatar. For most of you, it's going to be your past self, right? Who were you before you went through the transformation? Who are you now? And you're going to create content targeted towards that old version of yourself. So you're going to resonate with those people and then you're going to be able to take them through that transformation. Obviously, it's important when uh, thinking of your target avatar, hopefully make it someone that has money or has an income. Because if you don't, if you target students or something like that, they're most likely not going to be able to afford or pay for your digital product. But as long as you're posting consistently, uh, you will eventually start to grow an audience and uh, audience targeted around the exact thing that you want to provide them and help them with. So trust me, in a few months, you'll definitely be able to build up an audience. There's people who have gone from zero to 20 to 30 K in a couple months. The best audiences to grow on would be YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. These are the best platforms to go on because YouTube, one, they're watching long form content. So they're going to be very invested in you as a person and they're going to, I'll tell you guys my content KPIs and you can match them if you're really about that. I try to post at least three to four pieces of short form a day and that's on YouTube and TikTok. And that's on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. And then I also try to post at least one on Twitter a day. And if you can post two to three YouTube videos a week, you're going to set yourself up to get really good traffic and really good omnipresent growth. Then there's some there's obviously some other traffic sources like building a newsletter, cold calling, cold outreach systems, and email marketing. That's not anything I'm super hyper-focused on right now. And then in terms of the styles of content that you can actually create, one of the easiest ones, because I know a lot of you guys are going to be thinking, oh, what if I don't have any results yet? Document. Document your journey. Sam Sulik an example of this. A lot of people in the academy are an example of this. They just start documenting their journey from day one, and they actually build a really strong uh, personal brand through that because it's people that have watched you from day one. Education is the next one uh, where you just create actual valuable content that educates the person on probably the problem they're trying to solve. So you can be a fitness coach, you can be educating them on what to eat, how to train, things of that nature. 
or tutorials teaching them how to train, uh, modeling content. So finding ideas of people in your niche that have already worked, already blown up, that's going to give you a really good uh, ability to go viral again is just basing it off something that's already gone viral in the past. Then obviously storytelling, teaching people how to do certain things is going to be super good to build that relationship with your audience as well. Then obviously short versus long form, obviously all your short form platforms like TikTok, YouTube shorts, Instagram, these are platforms for virality. So you want to create fast snappy pieces of content that go viral. And then obviously you want to traffic that to your long form where you provide value and you actually build that relationship on a deeper level. Uh, YouTube, views are worth more but you can get way more views on the smaller platforms so now i want to talk about how to actually sell the digital product the reason i was able to sell my digital product which is the academy so well is because one i understood the problem of my audience and my avatar because i lived it and because i had went through abc from the very beginning I'd actually learned it really well. It had t taught me everything I needed to know to get out of that position, right? So I understood the exact pain points and I understood exactly how to solve that problem. Um, I learned all the high income skills that I needed. I learned how to sell. I learned how to create content. I learned how to build a personal brand. Everything I needed in order to actually sell a digital product, I learned within the academy. And this is... And on top of that, I started as a fucking sales rep. So as a sales rep, you're learning how to actually sell to people as well. Without sales, you don't really have a business. The third thing is because it puts results above everything else. Most digital products suck because you're having someone focus, trying to focus on the marketing, on the fulfillment, and they're trying to do everything and then everything ends up being shit because they're spreading themselves so thin. If you want to get really, really good results like what we do, you want to have the fulfillment people focus on the fulfillment and the marketing people market. And that's how you get the right people focusing on the right things and you really excel all over the board. And then obviously, in order to actually sell the product, it's going to be done on a high on a, on a sales call because it's a high ticket product, right? So you need someone to actually take that call. So for the sales systems, normally you'll have someone and they'll either book in a call through a link and they'll go through a DM setting process. Then they'll get booked onto a sales call and they'll close. Then obviously the automation side of things is more so for replying to comments. And if anyone comments a CTA, they basically get sent the free resource straight away. We'll get into how that works now. But let's go, how, let's go into how you go from first touch to being a paying customer. So this is what a normal Instagram funnel would look like. You p post your piece of short form content. In that piece of short form content, you have a call to action. That call to action is to comment. Once they comment, you will then send them free value. Then through that free value, they can book in a call. And on that sales call, that either be closed or not closed. That's where you make the money. Then with the YouTube funnel, it'll look like this. You post a piece of long form content. There's a CTA in the video to book in a call. And then you get on the sales call and they close. And that is pretty much how you go about selling digital products. That's how I sold over $500,000 in one year with one digital product. Uh, that was it. So it's very simple when you get it down to its core roots. You simply create a digital product or you find someone else's, you buy into that, you use it, you get the results, you fi figure out how to fix the problems that you're experiencing and then you can sell that digital product. Um, and then obviously step two is getting the eyeballs, actually getting the people and that's going to come through building a personal brand and building a personal brand is going to come through creating content. So step one, find a product. Step two, create content. Step three, book in the call and use these funnels to, to book in those calls. And then once the calls are booked, everything else should be taken care of depending on how you've got your system set up. If you're selling your own digital product, you're going to have to build your own sales teams, build everything yourself and employ all these people. Or you can do what I did and just actually become a partner of someone else's digital product and market that. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's how you can sell digital products online. If you guys want more help on uh, doing this, just DM me on Instagram. I'll leave that in the description below and I'll be happy to have a conversation with you. This is pretty much what it looks like. This is how it works. And I hope this video was of value to you guys because... This is exactly what got me all the freedom in the world. It's what allows me to make over $10,000 every single week. And it, it's what got me the life that I wanted. So all while actually making an impact and changing people's lives and uh, getting the fulfillment out of the work you do because you're helping people who are in your situation get out of that situation based on the knowledge and the information that you've acquired over your transformation. So love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.